So for us in the science of mind, we believe that God, that spirit, is the ultimate and absolute truth. In divine mind, in the mind of God, think about it, there are no problems. God does not have a problem. Isn't that good news? I think that's just wonderful. Okay, so if God doesn't have a problem and I'm part of God, that means that at least in potential, in my life, in my experience, in my existence, there is the potential for not having whatever my problem today may be. So we say that, you know, well, in Science of Mind, that there's only one problem, and that problem is a belief that we are separate from God in some area of life. So how do I know if I'm, if I'm believing I'm separate from God in some area of life? Well, say it's in the area of your supply and your money. If you don't have enough, you're believing you're separate from God. If it's in the area of your health, if your health is not as good as you know it could be, then to some extent you are believing you are separate from God. If your relationships are not absolutely joyful and loving, then to some extent you are believing you are separate from God. So the truth never stops being true. The truth never goes anywhere. We do. And what I mean by that is sometimes we fill our mind with the truth and we remember our connection with God and how we are all interconnected with other people. And then other times we forget and we sort of wander away from it. And I think that's where the trouble starts to creep in. Right? But remember, the truth never stops being the truth. It never goes anywhere. So how do I go somewhere when I'm separate from the truth? Well, I would say that it's really quite simple. Because of what I start to say, what I start to think, what I picture, what I believe, you know, that all of that, I can talk myself away from knowing my connection with spirit. And also remember that we live in a world where there is a race consciousness. The thinking of the world around us is always, always pressing in on us. This is why it's important that you mind your own consciousness and I mind my consciousness every day. Because if we don't, we will find that the experiences of the world around us become our experiences. We will become the statistics that we read in the newspaper.